What's up everyone? My name's Crazy Kyle and we're here in my garage. Today I wanted to talk more about cam chains. A while back I made a video with Matt Lyons about a cam chain swap and a head swap we did on this bike right here. Um, today I wanted to talk more about why it's important and what it is and what it does and who who de who done it who done it so um, first things first this is your cam chain it connects your crank to your cams up at the top of your engine this is your head so your cam chain would run up through here up around your cams and then you'd have your tensioner, putting tension on it. Now most people thought when your cam chain started to stretch you could just tighten your tensioner and it would it would make the noise go away. Everything's good. Well it was uh, it was not good. So when your cam chain stretches the links get longer and that length causes your, your cams to slightly rotate out of timing, proper timing, according to Kawasaki gods who designed this. So um, if you know what you're doing, you can use these slotted, if, the, if you have an 0304, 636, you can use these slotted holes, pull these screws out and manually set your timing if you know what you're doing, but I don't know what I'm doing. So I just run a fresh cam chain and uh, keep my tensioner at proper tension um, and it keeps all that in time. So then uh, valve adjustment is another important part of this and uh, under your cam you can find your valve buckets and inside here there's a little shim. This, this shim adjusts the space between here to make sure that your valve fully releases when the cam is not touching, when these lobes are not touching. You want to make sure uh, your valve closes all the way, right? Right. right. So um, People spend all kinds of crazy time designing these cams with the grinds and the old uh, surfaces and stuff. So, you know, you want to make sure to keep it in time so you're getting the most power out of your machine. So, um, I think that's all I know about that. The other thing is, is you can trim this tab under here. So... You don't have to split your cases to pull your cam chain off. You can see it in the other video. It should be posted maybe below or up. I don't know. It depends on how I post this. But uh, anyway, I um, think that's it. If you have any questions, comment. Let me know. Find me on social media. Try to help. Um, that's about it. So thanks for watching. Watch the other video. Keep your bike running good, and it'll make you ride good.